one. Basically, first trip except out of my driveway. So far, haven't seen any difference. I'm gonna go see a fellow who's kind of an expert in this, who's got some areas. There's Tesla Mobile Service I just passed. I don't know if they live there or they're servicing on a Sunday. completed a trip up into the hills, 50 mile, 60 mile round trip. Beautiful, no interventions or even touching the gas for the entire trip, accelerator I should say, for the entire trip. I didn't have the camera on. But that was a last version. 12.3, now we're one baby step beyond that, 12.3.1. Last time I came through here, I did notice it doesn't slow right down to 25 miles an hour like it used to. It, goes with the traffic a little bit better. So here's a 25 mile per hour sign. We're going 41. speed bump slowing. The nag is again as it was on the last issue available by touching or moving either scroll wheel which is more convenient than grabbing the wheel. now. or assertive. to think it was more likely to get rear-ended, but I think most rear-ends happen when people rapidly and unexpectedly brake. And Tesla tends to, while it needs to, it can brake rather rapidly, but in general, it doesn't brake unexpectedly and rapidly. right turn in two tenths of a mile. And people want me 
me to show the traffic, but this car does not display the road visualization on this screen. I think this is a lane and not a bike lane. Put in 12.30, Ravel, and we're here. I can't say that's a perfect parking job because we're a little ways off from the curb. But well done. We'll end this and then start another one in a few minutes.